You know, for a long time, I felt there was a lot of doubt surrounding me as a player. And you are brought in to take this team to the next level. As the difference maker. He was thought to be the missing piece. He's got to continue to prove that that was the right you decision. You have to win these games right you here. must win you games to win these games. I've been in these moments before, and I understand what's required of me. There's always going to be people who say the Vikings shouldn't have done this. He's not going to provide a return on investment. I want people to doubt me. I want people to question whether I can do it. I think that's when I play my best is when people say we don't think you can. All right, Kirk, what do you got? Let's go down to New Orleans. Saints playing their first game there since Nikel Ruby Coleman. I'm sure they're thrilled to hear about that. But Cousins said, I'm playing. And you know what? I'm going to chuck this thing. I got Thielen down the sideline. Boom! Touchdown, no. Ruled down at the one. Beats Eli Apple on the play. They would score in the next play, and Cousins would throw a touchdown pass. One series, real sharp, into the Superdome in August. And played a clean game. Nine snaps, four for four, 65 yards, and a tutty perfect passer rating in his one series. But let's hear from the brain trust. Let's hear old Mike Zimmer, what he has to say about that Vikings offense. Good protection. We have really good protection in the ball game. Um, so third downs were really good. The um, scramble by Kirk is something we're trying to continue to get him to do is to move you know, especially when he's getting uh, man coverage like that. So this Vikings offense, we got to talk about it. Yeah. Gentlemen, will they fulfill expectations of last year that were not fulfilled or lived? Do they feel like we need more time to gel together? Thielen is saying the chemistry is better. What do we think? It's tough because the landscape has changed. Um, last year, the Chicago Bears were so dominant, mm -hmm. so we have to respect the division champs. And for like, They've gotten stronger. You imagine Nagy now, Trubisky now, um, in that system, comfortable, knowing it like the back of their hand, that defense with Khalil Mack anchoring um, one of the best Ds in the business. You have Aaron Rodgers sitting back saying, wait, 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 wait. Chicago Bears is cute, okay? Vikings is cute. Lions, yeah. I got this. The boogeyman is back. Mm. And the expectations for the Green Bay Packers are through the roof. I would say don't forget about the Lions as well. So for me to say, will the Vikings fulfill expectations, you have to look at the landscape of the NFC North. Fair. So now it's tough. That defense will be strong. The running game will be better with Cook. The combination of the pass catchers coming out the backfield, the wide receivers, Thielen and Diggs, along with their tight end play, should make them one of the better offenses. But they're not just battling themselves. They're not sitting alone in this division. They're going to have to take down some really good teams. And it starts with the Chicago Bears, then Aaron Rodgers. If they can handle the Lions, yeah, they can. But it's tough. It's tough. All right, so I'm going to ask you, Nate. I'll put you on the spot. Are they the favorites in the NFC North? No. I mean, like, I'll answer that quickly. No. Yeah. No, it's, it has to be Chicago Bears. Am, I, am their, I wrong? Their offense, like, well, their offensive expectations. We, I, mean, I mean, I like seeing Kirk Cousins go down there and like lead a drive and get it done and get off the field. Yeah. I like, I felt good about that. Yeah, I mean, everyone says it's the second year of a quarterback in a team before he really gets in. Like Zimmer's been preaching that. Like the first year is always going to be an adjustment period, but now it's a full off season starting from the day they lost that Week 17 game to now that they could do this. It's not just him getting signed in March, but the biggest difference might be Gary Kubiak, and that's not the sexiest thing. I know you guys want to hear about Thielen. And Diggs and Dalvin Cook. Get into it. Gary Kubiak is one of these guys that has been around the league forever, has won a Super Bowl as a head coach, yep. and is now working as a co-offensive coordinator of sorts with Kevin Stefanski. And everyone I speak to in Minnesota says Gary Kubiak is a huge difference. So for the comfort level of the fan, you know there's going to be balance at the very least. It's not just going to be pass, pass, pass. All right, out of obligation, let's hand the ball off to somebody. I think Gary Kubiak makes a big difference. And I would argue – Knowing what they did two years ago, knowing what they're bringing back, that mm -hmm. they could be the favorites in this division. I like the Bears. And Shakes, I, I like we're it. on TV. Be bold. Could be probably, arguably. Who do you like? man. Don't tell me a word with the L-Y like? at the end. I'll take the Vikings to win the division this year. What? Yeah, okay. I think the Vikings could win. You know how much disrespect you just threw at the Chicago Bears and what they built? <laughs> the same exact thing was what the Vikings were last year. I hear you. Everyone handed them, and then guess what? Things I don't think this great. conversation is going to go to who's the favorite in the division. More or less, are we sleeping on the Vikings in this division? I mean, it's, listen, they can as a favor is a big choice, and I don't think it's anti Chicago. I think it's pro Minnesota. I listen. The price that Kirk Cousins paid to get that huge check and come and be the guy was showing up and saying the Super Bowl or bust. Like immediately the second he got there. In speaking to him last week, he sings about the comfort he has with these guys from top to bottom. The fact that he is a Midwestern guy and now is not on the East Coast in Washington anymore. He's in Minnesota with his family. He did, his relationship now with, with Thielen and Rudolph and Diggs is so different than it was a year ago. A year in which he stepped in and threw more touchdown passes than Brady, than Stafford, than Rodgers, than Dak. It goes on and on and on. 
So I think the offense is going to be fantastic this year. I do. I think Cousins was great last year. Are they in favor in the NFC North? I'm going to say no. I think Chicago's roster is better from top to bottom. But I think Cousins is going to light it up this year. And I'm not honking him. I think he is. It's all about perception, right? They were such a disappointment on offense last year that we, I don't have very high expectations for them this year because they had a lot of those same weapons. Sure, they've got you know a, a piece in Dalvin Cook that we did not see in preseason action. And if he's out there, he'll balance things out. I, my expectations for the offense are not as high as they were going into last year, and that's going to serve them well in this division. Is that fair? Yeah. That's fair. I mean, but, you know, we're having this conversation, and I'm not trying to rain on the parade for this Minnesota Vikings offense, but what's success? Like, we know that Kirk Cousins is going to throw 4,000 yards. Mm -hmm. If he has a really good season, it could be 4,500. Sure. He's going to have a good completion rate. What's that offense mean, will be in a What does it it's mean? Fluff. And it is all air. Fluff. I mean, no one remembers your stats. He threw 4,300 yards, but can your point? It's still disappointment, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Unless you win the big games. And I think there is a, a really um, – personal thing with Kirk Cousins everyone that was like you as a man cannot win a big game like mm. that's different than you're right it's like because they say his name versus the team yes, you're a really so good quarterback but it, it, you don't have the heart you don't have the you, you don't, don't you know, your, your pulse bounces you're great with play. stats and a Facebook yeah. but like inside what's almost you're, made you're of, not clutch right not clutch beyond that what you're made of it's not good enough soft. to win it's yeah. soft mm -hmm. and that to me is what inspires someone more like how do you overcome that perception go and win I think Cousin's a very driven guy. I think yeah. teammates like playing with him. And when you question the character of a man, mm -hmm. which is what he's been just dragged through the mud for, not only this year, but the last couple mm -hmm. years, at some point something's got to change. But he, he gets dragged deservedly so. So what is changing for Kirk Cousins this year? I think a new that offensive makes coordinator and a guy. second year in that system and in that building being like, I am the man. I'm comfortable here. He's going to make the jump this year. You heard it here first. Shrek's calling the Vikings so. taking right, the division. I like it. Yeah. I love that. Did you, know he, did you know he felt that way? <laughs> no, nah, but that's what we do live TV for. Love that's that. It, at baby. GMFB. More highlights to come. Five games played <laughs> over the weekend. We'll bring you each and every one. What was the most interesting thing from this Steelers Bucks game? The kicker? I hope so. <laughs> Look at that bomb. Longest field goal ever in Heinz Field. Is that true? <laughs>